No, wait, no, Please definitely, no, nah, no way, no, don't you dare, no, 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 no you won't, no, 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 good, no. We've got Indian headdresses. <laughs> Not when we want to play dress up. Actually, they were given to us as a wedding present. Yeah. Oh, look, here we go, look, 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 look. Look, military, tanks. I like the one that we were on. Oh, oh he's got his camera. Oh, he's got his camera. Are they following us? They're coming up behind us. Are they? Yep, they're really coming. Oh, they're behind us. Hey, I can't talk to you at the moment. We've got uh, guns at our faces. In the presence of us all, John Paul and Maggie have made their solemn vows. They have confirmed their marriage, and by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I therefore announce that John Paul and Maggie are husband and wife. Morning. Hello, morning. How Good are morning. you? Dr. Yeah. B. Looney, a morning. You've been here so long, you've grown up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's good. Right. Oh, look, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to show you the world's bestest trick. Do you want to see it? How much are you going to pay me? Oh, you know, oh Laura, I'll do it for free. <laughs> I have here a brown paper bag. Have you ever owned a brown paper bag? <gasps> You're rich! <laughs> Inside this brown paper bag, I've got an imaginary ball. Can you hold that for me? Now, on the count of three, Nicholas, I want you to throw it high up in the air. I'll catch it in the bag. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three! Oh, fantastic shot! Can you go a bit higher? Right. Okay, a bit higher. One, two, three! <laughs> The, um, yeah, what I'm just looking forward to is after having gone to Afghanistan in um, 2002 and just saw the appalling conditions uh, that you couldn't really do comedy in a place like that, you know, I mean, when a child's dying and poverty in front of you, uh, there is no room for humour, you know, without bread there can be no circus and when we think of being in a beautiful place like the Children's Hospital here in the Hunter and uh, to go back to the Indira Gandhi this time, not only with humour but with, uh, with lots of medical equipment, you know, I couldn't be happier. And to think that I'm actually going on my honeymoon. <laughs> you know, I mean, Maggie's an amazing woman. When I, she suggested, where do you want to go for your honeymoon? I said, how about Kabul? <laughs> she took on to it immediately and, uh, you know, with her help and energy and because she's uh, coming from a medical background, you know, it's just wonderful. We're both going to be there for two weeks, spreading laughter giving away, you know, brown paper bags and, and giving lots of medical equipment and, you know, it's a, it's a one-person show virtually that we're going over to do and um, can't wait, can't wait to get there. Well, I haven't been to any of the Middle Eastern countries at all. I've had an overnight stay in Dubai and that's about it. So it's going to be a bit, a bit of an interesting experience. I don't quite know what to expect. I mean, I've been in 
I mean, it's not a tourist destination by any means, and so, you know, we have to be very careful. There's DFAT warnings that say that the country's not safe to go to, etc. But, uh, you know, I've just got to go prepared, know what to do if we get into trouble. I'm happy to just go. I wouldn't miss this for the world. We can actually do something to make a difference to other people's lives, and I'm just totally for it. We've got lots, so if we can share what we've got, then that's great. Right. We are the best team involved. Sorry. We thank you, son. We thank you. That's all right. Excuse me. This is uh, just a bon voyage, seeing we're not travelling by sea. Uh, and it's a very short trip. We'll be back before you know it, but uh, it's a great adventure ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's John Paul and Maggie. That's your time. Oh, okay. <laughs> From now we shall be landing at Kabul. From the safety point of view, please ensure that the tables are folded, seat belt is kept upright, and seat belt is fast. Well, this is, uh, we're getting closer to Kabul Airport, you know. It reminds me of 2002, we're here with Gerald Tooth from the ABC and we were uh, met by Waleed, the ABC fixer, and having Gerald with me on this trip is really quite comforting. Things are actually worse in Kabul now and there's been uh, riots just a week or so ago and uh, hopefully uh, uh, things have been sorted out as to where we're going to stay. And uh, what we're looking forward to is just uh, getting back in and seeing how things have changed. So we go to the luxurious place, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. And guys, <laughs> you will like it. It's, so, it's beautiful. Well, the security situation in Kabul is quite tense at the moment with the riots and uh, while Leeds has been fighting us uh, a proper accommodation with decent security and boy has he found it as a ring of security guards armed to the teeth. Uh, an ideal location to have a honeymoon and uh, so we're going to go there, leave our, our belongings and then immediately head to the hospital. Certainly things have improved. <laughs> yeah. Two hundred of Afghani is one dollar. Is one dollar. So I'm sure it doesn't make a big difference. Mm. Okay. 
hundred dollar exchange. Uh, oh. It's two hundred dollar exchange, so we have. So how, how do we read this? And the police don't. It's okay. Black yeah, that's okay. Remember once I was in Kandahar, I queued in, yes, the, I in the bank to change the money, and he looked at me and says, what are you doing here? Why don't you go to black market? Oh, I said, oh okay, sorry. Not this one. That's good. Yeah, you keep. Thank you. I, before I left, two days before I left, 2002, I ran around visiting the hospital, I said, do you have plaster shears? So we have five for you. Yes. And we have a fax yes. for you at the office. And this is just some, some dressings. Yes. And tomorrow, hopefully, the, uh, the humidicribs will be arriving from uh, the Australian That's Defence the Force. Uh, I express my gratitude uh, for taking so much interest with the and in the Gandhi Institute of Child Health. We treat, we take care of all children from every corner of the country here. And that means that uh, you are interested in the health of uh, all children of Afghanistan. Mm. And that's uh, something that's uh, very, very, uh, you know, appreciable. Can I ask, on the World Health Standard, where your mortality rate, infant mortality rate, whereabouts is on the scale are you? Well, the mortality rate uh, is uh, it's, uh, it's high in our country, particularly in this is a result of uh, infectious diseases. Uh, it's, a, it's a result of poverty and malnutrition. It is out of five children. Two died before, before uh, the age of uh, uh, five. That means it's a very high mortality rate. Mm -hmm. And uh, similarly, the mortality rate of uh, mothers are also very high. In every 100,000 deliveries, 1,600 uh, mothers die uh, during the delivery, which is a very high. And we should do uh, so much work and uh, activities to bring these uh, mortalities down. We are just recovering from uh, three decades uh, conflict, war, struggle, something like that. And that means that uh, we are uh, still struggling in post-war syndromes. And that uh, affected our old system, economic system, uh, agricultural system, irrigation system, uh, social system, and health sectors. And all should come up simultaneously. Um, during the past few years, for four years, five years, there's lots of people from different kinds of the world, different kinds of, uh, from different countries of the world. They are coming here, they, they uh, promise us, they listed uh, some materials that we need, these hospitals, these wards need for those materials, they listed, but unfortunately, 
they missed it, but yeah, nothing yeah. happened. Do they did not come again? They didn't halt. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No. yeah. And also, uh, this uh, yeah. we wish that uh, you you must not be like those people. Yeah, something that you promised and yeah. you. Well, we already so come with something. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We have four humida cribs from Australia coming. These two are functioning. These two function. Yes, they are functioning. Uh, how many other ones do you have working? We had plenty of incubators, but, but now there's just two or three are working. Are working. St status. But uh, other are destroyed because of electricity. Oh. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So they're, they're blown out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we don't have, we don't have uh, uh, equipment for, for them to repair it. Ah, ah. For this. Sahara Gireste Sahara Actually, watching a baby convulsing. Yeah. Yeah. He said the prognosis for that little baby is not good. Not. That's all. Right, come back. We can walk down. We can walk down. We can walk. But no. <laughs> Do you see any foreigner walking around? Do you see any foreigner walking around? Well, I mean, just say like everything was very normal around. You could see hundreds of uh, foreigners walking around, but after a week, and, and, and after that, that week, it's now slowed down. Only a few Americans with a gun walk on the street. Right. Even they don't walk, they just drive fast. They drive fast. Yeah. I mean, have a look, see around. Do you see any mm. foreigner? You're the only foreigner driving in the city. Right. Those guns. I have the gun, don't worry. Oh, sure. Where? I mean, I have put some bomb here. <laughs> you are so un <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think he just had you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've got a ukulele. Yes. How do you see the next couple of days going? What are you hoping will actually happen in the next day or so? in terms of getting the, the humid groups in here and into the hospital, how's that going to happen? Well, you know, it's, it's a bit of a wing and a prayer stuff. The ADF said it's going to be arriving on June 6th and tomorrow is June 6th. So uh, we'll be there with bells on, uh, waiting for it to arrive. And uh, I, I believe we've got transport from the hospital to come with us, so that'll be exciting. It'll either be really a high moment or a low moment and we'll get all the excuses under the sun. When you do projects like this, nothing ever really does run to, uh, to scale or time. Uh, we just hope we definitely get them before uh, we leave at the end of the week. <laughs> i
How did you guys meet each other? We met in a hospital in Dublin, in Ireland. Yeah. And uh, that was last year, about May last year. Um, I was Love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Uh, Him? <laughs> Yeah, well, wasn't it? We would, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be in big trouble today. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we exchanged cards, and when she came back to Australia, uh, we started going out, and then, you know. No, when I, he <laughs> rang me on the last day that I was leaving London, um, it was the day I was leaving. He rang me to see if I was back yet, because he wanted to come and visit me. Yeah. And um, I didn't know whether it was work or pleasure. And, um, pleasure. and I just thought I'd keep an open mind. I was secretly hoping it was pleasure. We had a lovely chat on the balcony, and that was it. Yeah. That was nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. just clicked. Why do you think we're in love? No. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it should it should work easily. You know, this is how you adjust the bed. He must have adjusted the condition. So or so does. Well, he's the indicator of the motion and temperature. I mean, I don't know how to say it. Maybe can you control it? And this tells you that there's a failure of power. So I'll put that back up so that you position this depending on what you need for the baby. And um, yeah, so it's all. Pretty straightforward. Are you familiar Sorry. with using this sort of thing? You're a mechanic? Oh, okay. She's uh, quite familiar. Very good. Okay, very good. Which one do you need? One, two, three. I'll get one more. I've got to get one okay. more. Soon we will be opening a maternity uh, unit here and uh, we will be in a position to take care of the uh, babies in a very scientific manner. Thank you very much indeed. And I appreciate, appreciate this very much. Thank you. Thank you. I started my life in one of these. I owe my life to one of these. And it is a great emotion that I 
bring those over here to continue to improve the health of Afghan babies. And may they live long and strong, just like me. I bounce back. My older brother didn't make this journey because he didn't have one. Um, and uh, I spent my first three months in, in one of these. Uh, every time I see one, I feel very emotional. I think that's why I love caravans. once she married me. <laughs> now. All right. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a gorgeous wife then. Mm -hmm. This one's got pips, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> She's much better today. She was off a brekkie yesterday. Uh, these are friends of mine. Yes, and this is us. How long have you been married? Two? Uh, no, no, only March. This is our honeymoon. This is your honeymoon? Yeah. Oh, God. Moya Sal, Moya Sal, Moya Sal, Moya Sal, Moya Sal, Moya Sister. My parents have died, so they were my bridesmaids. Uh, the average age of my bridesmaids was 80 years old. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Very nice. <laughs> okay, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> bounce it against the wall into your bank. <laughs> Should join us round two. Just line him, just line him and Oruska. Give, give him thousands of paper bag. Give to the Taliban. Give Taliban. Show them the trick and they go. Make sponsor. Make sponsor. Yeah, they will be busy and then they will not yeah. fight. And, and yes, they, that's yeah. right. <laughs> well, while they're going like this, the moon king. <laughs> <laughs> So how safe are these streets at the moment? Oh, very dangerous. But you see there's no foreigner at the moment. You don't see even many uh, coalition forces or let's say the ISAF around, you see? Yeah. Otherwise you can see every five minutes a car passes with the military guys on it. It's, let's say, I think it is safe 60, 70 percent. Anything can happen anywhere. Yeah. Well, this is, we live on the earth and earth is swaying in the air. Yeah. Hundred twenty, twenty bucks is one hundred. Hundred and twenty. 
20 bucks each. Uh, under. 100. 100. Just big, big. Oh, don't know, don't know. I have to think. What do you think? 100 and a half. <gasps> yes. Okay. What? No? Okay, listen. <laughs> that and that. 100. <laughs> <laughs> Such beautiful rugs, isn't it? That map looked lovely in the study, in my, in my um, little room on the wall there. I like the older I think we lead very selfish lives, very focused around our own careers and ambitions and I like to have a bit of balance. I mean, I'm quite an ambitious person, I think, and quite career-minded, but also got a lot to give and I think this is extremely, this provides a lot more balance to your life. I think it's really important to realise that, you know, coming and visiting a place like this just gives you so much more perspective around life. You know, and just how other people live and just being extremely grateful for what you do have. Socks. Little babies, six months old, it's a very small size. Maybe a t-shirt. Is it a t-shirt? That's, well, that's bigger for this baby, I think. Um, there's a little boy from where I live who wanted to make the children in Kabul happy. And so he went through his toys and put these in the bag for me. So, so this is a koala bear, and that's a native animal to Australia. So I'll, I'll give it to you. And uh, yes, I just. It's not for the baby, but for you. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, can, can I? I need. I need help. Yes, but I think I haven't got enough. I think I'm better. <laughs> oh, you want? You want one? Okay. Oops. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. It just feels so weird to be doling out things. I've never done that before. Yeah. Like it's, I don't want to really ever do that again. I mean, it was lovely to be able to do that and as a gesture and for people to know that their clothes have gone to some very sick children. Yeah. But, no, nah, reminds me of those images of um, Princess Diana. <laughs> and I'm, I mean, like, I'm so far from that. <laughs> You're much more voluptuous than oh, Princess Diana. Like Gerald's listening. Oh, Gerald. <laughs> In fact, I'm mic'd as well. <laughs> They're all listening. That honeymoon, darling. What are we seeing? We're seeing um, she's a very outspoken female MP. A short time ago, she stood up in Parliament and said that as they were looking at putting people in jail, they should start here in Parliament. Her name is Miss Malaloy Joya. She's the, a member of Parliament, a representative of Farah Province. She's also been given to us as a contact for women's groups that can help in the distribution of um, some of the baby clothing that JP and Maggie have brought along. So she should be a very interesting character. Yeah, we have to follow this. Yeah.
her house or something else, I don't know. She don't want to uh, show the exact place where she is, uh, you know, because of security problems. Yeah, yeah. Because she's worried about her life. Well, yeah. The only one who's against warlords. Has, has this clamping down on press freedom and freedom of speech got anything to do with the Taliban growing in strength again? Uh, uh, I want to tell you that uh, right now people uh, of Afghanistan they are burning in twofold fire. In one hand uh, there are Taliban uh, that they have support of the fundamentalist uh, parties uh, around the board. In another hand, uh, like Taliban, Al Qaeda, Osama. Golbidin and like this. For example, right now Golbidin is the most wanted terrorist uh, around the world. But uh, right now, 54 members of the parliament they are those people that they are, they were members of the um, Golbidin party. And another hand, uh, our country is burning in uh, fire of murder lines because uh, they, they are um, they are also those people that they are uh, they do not believe in democracy and they are like uh, Taliban. Unfortunately, U.S. and U.S. allies they replaced instead of Taliban North alliance with the mask of democracy. And this is the main reason that there is no security in Afghanistan, no freedom in Afghanistan. And there are those people, these North alliance, that they are friend of U.S. but the enemies of our people, same like Taliban. What we were going to do was just talk to you about what we're, we're here doing in Afghanistan, in Kabul. Um, and then uh, I brought an example of what we've got. We've got a suitcase full of baby clothes. So I'm conscious that we don't have a lot, you know, and people need a lot of things. You know, like there's a lot of people who would appreciate having this. But there's a lot of people back in Australia, a lot of women back in Australia who would love to be able to continue to provide. So this is a way of us finding out how we can create more support. Um, we, we probably would have maybe enough for maybe 10 mothers, maybe. It's not very many. We've got a suitcase full, we've got a few toys, but, but that's about it. Um, we, could, we would be happy to just give that to you to give or, um, or to representatives of the organisation so that they can decide. It's really exciting to be back in this school. You know, four years ago, it was only a few months after the Taliban had been routed, and for five years, girls were not allowed to go to school. And to see these beautiful young women here, just so eager to learn, and to think that the money that Gerald uh, had made by uh, selling these photographs of, the, of these very children gave us $10,000 to create a science room. And here it is, we're standing amongst it, all this equipment, uh, seeing these young, enthusiastic girls in the room. I couldn't think of a better way to spend $10,000. And she thanked you all because you start helping us just right in the right time. Uh, the time which the Afghanistan is on process to be rebuilt and you, you, you're putting your share on and you're sharing this, the building Afghanistan. Mm. I'm always um, be aware of us. I uh, will never forget you. I'm more promotion I can guess.
what do you make of this news that Malalai Joya is insulted, I think is the right word, by the, the gesture of a, a gift of a bag of baby's clothes? I am disappointed. Um, I certainly understand that, you know, this is nothing compared to what, what she's got to deal with. Absolutely nothing. So if that's how she feels, no problem. I mean, you know, we'll just find someone else who can take it. I know it'll go to someone who'll appreciate it, but, um, but yeah, um, I am disappointed. As Waleed's explained, she's seeing us as a symbol as, as of Australia and there is a sense that Australians are good and generous people and there should be more being provided to the people here. Or as John Paul says, that for a couple you're doing quite a, ma quite a lot, but it, um, it seems that at an official level it might not be appreciated. Yeah, I think there's a difference between people understanding that we're just a couple of individuals just spending our own money um, and using the generosity of our community and bringing that here um, as opposed to being seen as some sort of Australian government representatives. I think there's really quite a big difference. You've been thinking about leaving early on. Will this play a part in that decision? Um, I don't. I don't think so. I mean, we just want to make sure that someone gets the goods. Um, and uh, no, no, no. I don't think so. I think we've pretty much done what we can. It's been very intense, and I, I want to be able to keep coming back. So I just see this as, you know, one small part of a much bigger process. I think as JP and I learnt last time, it's this is a, a place that will embrace you warmly one day and, and slap you in the face the next. It's, it can be very tough. Yeah, I can see how that can happen. And well, as I was saying to Maggie, you know, this, this, it's a hard place and it can be hard on people trying to do some good here as well. It is, but you don't let your ego get involved. You know, you can't be sl slighted by a comment, and uh, especially when it comes second hand. It's. Uh, we know what we need to do and uh, they, they need a great deal. We just have to be patient and um, uh, try and understand that um, things do not run according to our plans. So if we're going to be here for another two days, what should we do? I don't know. We could maybe go to another hotel. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, I'm bored with here. Hmm. Well, we could go up north. So. Yeah, do you think we should, though? I think it's safe. I mean, it'd be nice to... It'd be nice to go for a drive. Hmm. Just a bit worried about the land, though. Those on the road, it's okay. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning. Showing too much leg. Me too. <laughs> Did you want Vegemite? Hello? 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 Was you guys calling me? Tell her I'm sorry for any offence. Oh, okay, hold on. Wrong number. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm sorry, I was uh, a secretary. Oh, I was fixing my phone. I was dialing some other numbers. Oh. <laughs> but can, when you speak to her, can you explain that I'm sorry for the misunderstanding? Well, no. There's no sorry between us. No? Well, she actually understood. I mean, Pardon? Well, it's not a matter of being sorry or being what. I, I, well, I, can I can explain to her, I did explain that, you know, I know that it's nothing. 
I know it's a few, um, I can offer that. I mean, it's totally two hundred or two hundred or hundred dollar worth of clothes, so less than a hundred dollar even. But you know, it's something a gift. You could tell very clearly to you, like Madam mm. Maggie, I want to have this. Thank you very much. I receive it officially. Then I give it to people. Mm. Okay, and yeah, it says it was. It was. She was thinking like it's a big thing, and we have we have to have a big ceremony, and then we will we do recording and do video. Mm. Like it's. She says like if it's ten for ten children and families, that's the word to be recorded. Or well, this is done for their own publicity. They do for own their fundraising. And when they run, we want to raise the fund, and it, it has happened a lot in the country. Mm, yeah, when right. people come here, they take footage of the very nasty photos, very like different wrong angles of the Afghanistan. Oh, they are dying from po po poverty, or they are doing this that. When they leave, they run, they, they do a fundraising, then the money goes up, goes away. I mean, yeah, goes away. yeah. Right. So she has this mentality, and she's almost right. It's not once twice. These people was fooled many times. nice to go, um, but you know, you just got to be flexible is what about travelling is all about. You know, yeah. Oh, look, here we go. Look, 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 look. Look, military tanks. I like the one that we were on. Oh, um, oh he's got his camera. Oh, oh, he's yes, got his camera. Doesn't that look good? I see. Getting a photo. It's all right for you to take that. Coming up behind us. Are they following us? Yeah, they're really coming. Hello? Oh, they're behind us. Oh, we just been pulled up by a, a tank. A 
take the tape out. Go and take the tape out, please. Hey, I can't talk to you at the moment. We've got okay. uh, guns at our place. Yeah. Why are you taking our why, tape? Why well, it is, it's our problem. We want our tape. We have a letter from the Foreign Ministry giving us permission to film. No, 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 you don't understand. We can't get through the boom gate. The police are holding us up. We're going to the airport. We're going to catch a plane. What? Well, it's not. It's okay. <laughs> if we what? don't, if we don't get on the plane, the, the uh, honeymoon brochure will explain uh, <laughs> that the, that the, uh, the tanks come to say goodbye. You didn't read the whole brochure. <laughs> oh, look, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just reacting to it. I, That's a whole mean? package to it. I'm sort of. I should have been. <laughs> Great honeymoon. <laughs> I love adventure, I do. So. That's alright, it's just the reaction. It's mm. just it's just you know, it only happened what, thirty minutes ago. I haven't actually let it out of my system so yeah, you know me, that's how I deal with it. <laughs> I think that uh I was attracted to Jean-Paul's adventurous spirit and socialist values anyway. That's pretty much the glue of what our relationship's about. So to come and be able to express that together here is just, it's, it's a dream. I, I never thought this could happen and I'm just so happy. I think she likes the koala. Yeah. I got, I've got this theory that it's an equation that humans plus humour equals humanity. And if you take a totalitarian regime, whether they're the Taliban, or whatever, humour is repressed to such a point that uh, there's almost no, there almost doesn't seem to be a reason to have any joy in your life if there's no, no humour, right? And what I love about the Afghanis is it doesn't matter how far the wick is turned down on them, they still enjoy themselves. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you.